Circuit protection involves using protection devices, the proper loading of a circuit to avoid overloading, as well as taking care to avoid shorts. There is a distinction between an overloaded circuit and a short circuit. An overloaded circuit is one in which there is more current being drawn by the circuit than the circuit has been designed to provide. A short circuit is one where the current is taking an unintended and undesired path to ground. In this chart, an overloaded circuit is shown. The circuit is designed to deliver 1500 watts to the loads, but 2600 watt of loads have been connected to the circuit. The protective fuse or circuit breaker should break the circuit and block the flow of current. The fuse is one of the most common circuit protection devices in use. It must be replaced after a circuit protection event takes place because the fuse destroys itself. There are many types of fuses designed for various voltages, currents, and connections. There are some fuse types illustrated here. The knife blade connection is used to provide a larger surface area for the electrical connection so larger current densities can be accommodated. The condition of the fusing element is visible in some fuses, so the fuse condition can be directly observed. Without this feature, measurements must be made. If you measure the source voltage across a fuse, then it is blown. If you remove a fuse from the circuit and measure the resistance and find it to be infinite, then the fuse is blown. Note the electrical symbol for a fuse. These are used to represent fuses on schematics and electrical drawings. Circuit breakers do not normally have to be replaced after each protective event. They are designed to be reset and reused over and over again. Some circuit breakers are integrated with on-off switches and preserve panel space as well as being prominent and easy to use. Note the symbol for the circuit breaker on the right. Current and voltage ratings of fuses and circuit breakers are normally written on the component. The key parameter is the current rating. A fuse with a higher voltage rating can be used in a lower voltage circuit provided the current rating is adequate. A reading of zero ohms means the fuse is good. An infinite reading means the fuse is bad. In some instances, additional protection may be needed. Electric motors under stress may overheat, damaging the insulation on the windings inside them. The circuit breaker or fuse protecting the circuit may not receive enough current to trip them. Thermal circuit breakers can be employed inside the motor to protect it from excess heat that results from excess loading. Circuit breakers such as this can be manually or automatically reset once the motor cools off.